midnight last night by a couple in romantic embrace. No one knows what it is or where it came from. All branches of the military were immediately mobilized. UFO Hunter says spaceship is too big to move. A stored under major landmarks. Well, you know what that means, everyone. <laughs> yep. It's one of them ones again. Oh, he looks like a UFO right now. I don't know why, I just feel like when I see someone like that, they just, I don't know, just the look in their eyes, ain't it? They're just like, You can see my eyes! Do you believe? And you're just like, fucking, ah. <laughs> <laughs> A UFO hunter has claimed that there is a huge spaceship stashed underneath a major landmark somewhere in the world because it's too big to move. So he, does he not know where? So how can you be sure there is? if you don't even know where. And there are hundreds of landmarks around the world. Like when you Google like landmarks, uh, world landmarks, it bang, Google goes here and it shows you everything in the world. You gotta be a bit more specific with your um, theories and claims. So the idea is that completely unbeknownst to us, there is a massive alien spaceship somewhere amongst us in a place that people might know and recognize. However, it can't be moved because it's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Sounds likely to you? Well, let's hear him out, shall we? Ross Coltheart is a bit of a UFO expert, and he's been speaking to the Project Unity YouTube channel, where he explains some of these objects are not capable of being moved because they're too bloody big. Well, how to get there in the first place? <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> it's true though, how to get there in the first place then? The non-human spacecraft is currently being hidden beneath a purpose-built structure, according to Colt Hart and the author who, was, who has written a book called plain sight added i know exactly where it is i thought it was something when i heard it too obviously the, the idea of a huge spaceship being hidden away somewhere in the world has caused a bit of a commotion in a ufo hunting com community with people just desperate to find out where it is what are the theories then well some seem to believe that it's in south korea whereas others think it's likely to be in the air defense facility or it could be under mount Mush rushmore as i said could even be unknown maybe hidden under the Egyptian pyramids, and they're actually just spaceships. Not support Russia's efforts to make first contact with the aliens. In a statement released earlier today, President Joe Biden stated that the U.S. government will block any actions that could potentially put national. Who knows? Because you don't actually know where it's located. If it was real, it's like the old bloody. It's like with like a movie, like. You know, like John Carpenter, the thing, love the movie, love the book and all that. You know, the idea is like the spaceship was like there all this time under the ice and that. And you're like, you kind of would have thought we would have noticed that by now with all, with like how far deep we can go with like our scanners. I'm just saying we would have noticed something by now in the Antarctic. Uh, just, uh, yeah, but hey, I could be wrong. You never know. I could be proven wrong. Aliens could be popping out of nowhere. Like, they, like the aliens here probably gave up on gave, just giving up. Like, they were just like, oh, can't deal with these bloody humans. And that's what that video was, that woman who just casually walked into Area 51. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Keep walking. She's still going. She's still going. Good luck! She might make it to the other gate on the other side. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. She's the <laughs> and there was a man just saying good luck. I think, no, that's, that's them just leaving Earth, mate. They're, they're going back to their mothership and leaving. 
<laughs> They've seen TikTok. <laughs> Koha has, has a bit of a previous uh, previous so, for this sort of thing, having made a couple of headlines earlier in the year following an interview with a whistleblower who claims the US military has several crashed spaceships, even alien bodies as well. Yikes, that's huge news, if true. David Krush claims are being taken very seriously too. In fact, there is a US uh, government hearing into them which could take place in a matter of weeks. Coltar has also recently claimed that there are videos of spherical UFO flying ob uh, right alongside US military jets on training, as well as claiming that they've been seen above nuclear sites, uh, military installations all across the uh, continent, United States, and indeed in the Middle East. It's just like Middle East, America, everywhere else, nah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. These things, if you want to get technical, are known as UAPs or unidentified aerial phenomena. It's just a UFO, basically unidentified flying object. It could, they could be drones, because they do military jets do fly uh, side by side with like also drones and all that as well. Like drones go ahead of them and all that. That's that's what they could be. Colt Hart made these claims after four objects were spotted in the sky, although one turned out to be that Chinese spy balloon. <laughs> Talking to Sky News, Coltar explains why he believes that the footage isn't being made public. He said, I've interviewed uh, pilots from the east and west coast of the United States and have been on training exercises where they've literally looked across from the cockpits of their aircraft and they've seen uh, spherical objects off their right wing. The videos were then given to com uh, commanders and those videos are still being kept confidential. The truth is out there, folks. Maybe. But it's more like you're just saying like, oh, there could be. That would put people like a lot of lot of like serious conspiracy theories on a major treasure hunt. And that could end up being bad. People could start damaging things that you know that we want to keep not damaged. Like people might start trying to dig into stone into like digging up Stonehenge or open trying to see if there's actually like more inside like I don't know, Mount Rushmore. Something like that, or they might even like dig up all the pyramids and like, you know, they're going to ruin all these basically landmarks. You know, some people who are conspiracies are actually quite wealthy people, so they could do it. Okay, everyone, that was today's weird news. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments and leave a like to help support the channel, of course. Let me know if you might know where it is, because he says landmark. Which one? <laughs> Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao. <laughs>